Alright guys, welcome to Real Classic Film Reviews and welcome to the part of the channel where we take a little bit of a deep dive into a, a classic film on a home video release. Um, and in this case, as you can see, it's, um, well, you know, one of the classics of cinema. And this is uh, Citizen Kane, directed by Orson Welles uh, from 1941. Uh, the relatively recently released um, 80th anniversary edition of this film now, obviously it being released in 41, um, 80 years, wow. So, you know, long regarded as being, you know, one of the greatest films ever made and probably the greatest film ever made by a certain kind of contingent. So we're going to have a little look into it. Um, like I said, this is the 4K release. Uh, lots and lots of goodies to have a kind of peek at uh, whilst we're checking it out. Um, and I mentioned on my previous video, which was my kind of December update video um, on my Christmas update video, um, that I kind of pipped for this over the Criterion release because um, well, I just like the look of it more. And, you know, I kind of really wanted to get something with a bit more to it than that Criterion release. Um, I am a Criterion collector, but I know that one's come under fire a little bit for its kind of odd packaging you know if you're not if you don't know the one i'll put a, a picture on screen now um with the giant k and the kind of way that it all falls out i think has come under a bit of fire this could be a similar case i don't know we'll have to have a little look i haven't kind of cracked it open as you can see this is the first time i'm going to do it for you guys on camera so we can have a little look at the goodies inside so i'll just get rid of some of that rubbish um and there you go there's like a matte finish to that obviously wells there in uh cane makeup um, these certificate, oddly placed certificate uh, things here are actually stickers, so they will come off, which is good. Um, and then we've got a kind of card, a wraparound card inside there. So if you can see there, you know, we've got a 48 page book, a 20 page souvenir program, um, a reprint of some press release bits and bobs, a two sided poster, art cards, photos, stills blah 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 the rest of that so let's have a little peek inside it for a start so if we can have a look at perhaps we can get this off gently crikey that feels quite well glued on there so we'll be gentle in terms of removing that sometimes these things slip straight off sometimes they don't and then on the back side of this we have ah, okay so we've got a younger cane a younger awesome wells portraying cane and then the elder one there so it's pretty cool um and that's the outer case obviously rigid slip box very nice and then inside we have of course uh the release itself again the character there with the uh the title and this in itself is in a slip case and within that we have the 4k disc and the blu-ray disc so there we go, that's the actual release itself. Nice slip cover there to slot inside. And then let's have a little peek at some of the goodies that we also get. So uh, let's start with this book or booklet, I should say. Is that the other bits and pieces it is? Um, so like I say, I think they said it was a 40 page book. Whoops, daisy. Um, rosebud symbol on the side there. If you don't know anything about the film, of course, it's pretty much the investigation into the meaning of... Um, a media tycoon's final dying words um, by a reporter. In this case, the media tycoon is played by Wells and the reporter is played by Joseph Cotton, one of my favourite actors. Um, and this was, incidentally, this was Wells' first feature film. And he directed a few films, he directed a few shots before that, I should say, from the mid to late 30s, uh, maybe two or three. But this, astonishingly, was the first ever film that he made. And was he 25? He was 25 years old, I think, when he kind of wrote, directed, starred in, um, you know, what's become this kind of monolith of cinema. And incidentally, it wasn't really well received at the time uh, from what I've read in the past. I think it took, you know, a good maybe a decade. I don't think it was till the 50s. It was kind of reappreciated or, and rediscovered. Um, but. You know, it is a great film, or whether it's a, the greatest film ever made, which it kind of regularly gets voted as um, up until the last kind of decade anyway, where um, um, Crikey, Vertigo, Hitchcock's Vertigo kind of apparently overtook it as the greatest film. I don't know if that's the case. Um, obviously, it's a subjective thing. Um, and I think, I want to say, was it just, this might have been Joseph Cotton's first film as well. I should have researched that before this video. I'm going to say it was, and then you can kind of come after me in the comments if you like. He probably did something else, but I don't know. 
Um, but I want to say it's Joseph Cotton's first film. If not, it's very, very close to being his first film. Right, sorry for rambling on there. We've got also a kind of plethora of goodies in here. Um, this will be one of the posters, I'm assuming. Or is it double-sided? Oops, oh, it's a So we've got Kane there making his famous address. And on the reverse, a kind of vintage poster. Doesn't really look, does it look? Oh yeah, it does look like him. Didn't think really it looked like Wells there for a second. So a couple of nice goodies to, to have there. And we also have, is this the, the kind of excerpts, all the kind of press release bits and bobs in there as well. So definitely a bit to get through if you're kind of interested in reading through some of the uh, the trivia of the film. Obviously, this is you know great, well presented, great artwork all the way through. Uh, we've got the little folder that also contains the uh, art cards or postcards, postcards I just did. Some great artwork running through those. That's the kind of famous poster that I'm used to. Um, and then oof, we've got something else in here. Finally, um, oh, this is the the thing that displays some of the marketing materials. So. So yeah, definitely worth kind of having a good look through this. So, you know, a pretty comprehensive set. You, you know, if you're a film buff like myself, you probably own a copy of this already. Um, like myself, I think I've owned it on various formats over the years. And this is the first time it's kind of come to 4K, uh, which is pretty exciting. I've yet to check out the transfer um, of this. So I'm hoping that's going to be good. I don't think I've read anything about it particularly, but I'm certainly definitely uh, looking forward to uh, checking that out. Um, and, you know, Obviously, go forward and, and kind of check out a few other of Orson Welles' films if you've yet to do so. Um, you know, he was a kind of... I'm, I'm going to say he's a great director, but obviously he's a famously troubled director um, and probably didn't reach these heights again or arguably did um, with uh, Touch of Evil in the late 50s. But, you know, he went on from... He, he kind of came out of making this into making The Magnificent Ambersons, which famously got chopped up. Um, then he had a hard time um, and then obviously made the uh, made Touch of Evil, which got chopped up. <laughs> and then I don't think he really recovered from that even. Um, and I think the only film that he made was that was any kind of hit in his time was uh, The Stranger, um, which is another good film. I think it's, incidentally that's on Netflix. If you can hunt that down, it might, I might not be anymore. But yeah, definitely one to pick up here if you're a big fan of this of the film or of uh, you know the 4K format in general. Uh, definitely a great collector's set to pick up. So that is the 80th anniversary edition of Orson Welles' Citizen Kane on 4K Blu-ray. Um, yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves as always, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.